so today we're going to go over our dumbbell cross press. This is what it looks like. One, one, two, two, and so on. So when we break it down the benefits of our exercise. We're building strength and stability through our shoulders as well as working in the transverse plane. So we're going to start with the feet under our hips, elbows nice and tight, and we're bringing the dumbbells right in front of the shoulders. Keeping the elbows in to keep the core engaged and our chest lifted. We're simply going to extend at a 45 degree angle with our palm facing towards the ceiling and then bring it all the way back into our starting or our rack position and repeat on the other side. Both sides together equals one rep. So our progression and regression strategies here are going to be based on three variables. Speed, the faster that we move in and out of the exercise, the harder the heart and lungs work. So cardiovascular benefits. Uh, range, we want full extension and to stay at that 45 degree angle because that's where we get the maximum tension through the target muscle groups and we get more benefits out of the work we're putting in. And then also load, the amount of weight that we're using. So the heavier the dumbbells are, the harder it will be, the stronger we'll get, the easier, the way to make it easier is lighter dumbbells. Good deal? Our big common fault here is as people get tired, one, the dumbbells end up way down here. And two, instead of a 45 degree angle, we're just coming straight across. So make sure to keep that 45 degree angle, make sure the palm is up, and make sure we're getting a nice full rotation through the wrist so we get full supination or muscular activation in our work. And that is going to be our dumbbell cross press.